Sally Polaronis from Adelaide. Are you serious? Sophie Monk from Brisbane. Chantelle Barry from Perth. Belinda Chapel from Sydney. And Katie Underwood from Melbourne. This week, it's only just beginning. The girls have got a new home and a new life. Stripping for photo shoots and long, gruelling days in the studio. It's a tough routine that will push each of the girls to their limit. This will be the girls' home for the next few months as they experience the demanding realities behind the glamorous world of pop music. Katie Ashley Underwood, star sign Capricorn. I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to astrology. Age 23 for all those interested. This is nice. This is great. The ocean is like there. Yep, Blue Mountains is right behind you. Five different girls, five different backgrounds, but they all have one thing in common. They've been selected to be pop stars. My name is Chantelle Barry. Um, my middle name's Anita. I'm 19, born in March, I'm a Piscean. There's two doubles yeah. and a single. My name is Sally Polly Rodas. That's a Greek name. Mum and dad are both Greek. Um, I come from Adelaide. I'm 23 years old. And my birth date is on the 22nd of the 676. Ooh, a double bag! <laughs> How are you? Wow, good. good. OK, my name's Belinda Barbara Chapel. <laughs> And I'm 24. Capricorn. This is the first time we've seen each other. This is the first time we actually know that we're in. Hello. Hello. Hey, you Hello. I'm nervous. <laughs> Sophie Charlene Eckland Monk is my full name. I know. And I'm 19. And I am a Sagittarius. Someone gets a room to themselves. I don't mind because I like. <laughs> okay. I mean, First major drama. Nothing. Two double bedrooms, <laughs> one single. You ready? Was that way to work? Oh, no. I, I got the single. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, she didn't even want the single. Oh. She didn't want it. See, it's for me. What did you get? Oh, you get the double. double. Small front. Oh, cool. I got the small double. There you go. Do you want the single? Yeah. Do you want to swap me? Yeah. You want to give me your ticket? Give me your ticket. Just to make sure I make it all official. I'm not used to doing this by myself. <laughs> My best friend doesn't. Yeah, so. I've got the weirdest stuff. What did you bring? You got an insinkerator in there, mate? That's all I've got. I've got no drawers. Can I make clothes? <laughs> We're having a bit of a barbie today. Welcome them all to the house and um, have a chat about what we've got coming up this week. We start in the studio tomorrow morning, doing a fitness regime, and then we start recording in the afternoon. This is where it all begins. Next morning, and a very early start for their first day of hard work as aspiring pop stars. Did we go a bit more today? I used to get to sleep because I was just brains like going at 100 miles an hour just thinking about all the stuff we're doing this week. The schedule planned for the girls is going to be very tough, with long hours in the recording studio. Fifteen hour days will become the exhaustive it's norm. all aerobics, the dance classes, which I'm sure you guys are already well covered. It is essential that they become and remain exceptionally fit. Now on, the girls' days will start in the gym and finish in the recording studio. Michael Zamowski, Michael Zamowski is one of the top so music producers that Warners and Michael Napthali have brought in to work with the girls. Each voice has its own tone, so I just want to have a listen to what you'll sound like. Two, three, four. You better stop, better run away. A number of producers from Australia and overseas will be in the studio with the girls for close to six months, recording at least 13 songs to be featured on the girls' first album. Your desperation makes you feel To develop the group's sound, 
Michael gets the girls to sing individual harmonies. Just remember I can be poison. Be poison. Cool. One, two, three, four. Don't you treat me bad. Don't you make me sad. Our love could be deep as the ocean. But that's good. This distracts me quite well. I'll probably get you all to sing the whole song and then I'll chop bits and pieces. Once I've got a bit of a track together, that'll be where I'm going to determine how each voice works in each part and how it sounds. What have you I done? They all sound different, which from my point of view is quite cool because in a mixed situation, the difference is already there and doesn't have to be constructed. As soon as you push the faders up, there's five distinct tones. It's been a tough first day for the girls and small things can get out of perspective. With every day, the girls are coming to terms with the intrusion of our cameras in their lives. Uninvited intrusion is something they're not prepared for. Did you put it outside? I didn't crawl in. No, and it was just by the mirror. Don't go there because they jump. Could be anyone. It's here! schedule of fitness, dancing and recording the album. Choreographer Anna Kiprios is now moulding the girls into thinking and moving as a team. Eventually they will have to perform live on stage. Everything has to be quick, slick and second nature. Unless you're secure within yourself and you know what you're doing, it's going to be really hard on the day when there's a camera in your face and you've got that much time to pick something up. Because things change, we may choreograph something and then on the day we need to change something and you need to be secure enough and know what you're doing enough that the camera in your face is not going to bother you so much. And some girls have a good idea about that and some of them don't. And I think that's got a lot to do with their age and just about how much they've actually thought about that. It's really important here. Can you read it? Yeah? What does it say? You read it. What does it say? I don't know. Come I just on. bought it because it looks nice. Give you the harmonies again. Oh. You two, it's a double Sophie. Can you go up high? Oh, I see. Can I? I'd rather double a lower one today. Okay. Oh, well, then why are you double for one note? You can double yeah, that's fine. I can double high. Then you double Sophie. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Don't you treat me bad. Don't you make me sad. Michael Zamowski is satisfied that the girls have learnt the melody and rhythm sufficiently to lay down individual tracks for the first song. Is that right, that chorus? Is that? Almost. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I was the last coach line girl, so. We're running out of sparkle here. Happy birthday to you! Come for some fun! Sprung! Thank you! Thank you. Can you have some cake with me, sweetie? Maybe we should get some clothes on. Yeah, maybe you should first. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday to you. Now you don't have to bet. Hooray! 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 Birthday cake for breakfast, but there's no time for celebration. It's back to the gym for the girls, and back into Anna's hectic schedule of exercise and dance. The first Friday we had was um, they were very tired and they didn't want to know about it, about life as a pop star. But last Friday was okay and I expect that their, their fitness level will, will get better and better. Weeks of fitness as well as weeks of perfecting the studio recording. Handling the pressure better than others. Don't you treat me bad. Don't you make me sad. Our love could be deep as the ocean. If you can't be true, I got news for you. Just remember I can't be Everyone's getting along really well. Chantel's a bit quiet at the moment, though. So, yeah, I don't know whether she's having problems with a boyfriend or something. And She does keep to herself a bit, but... Um, I mean, I think that, that she'll get there, but at the moment, you know, I think she just needs time to, to, to come into the group. Um, you know, you can't, you can't sort of force these things. The roller coaster to pop stardom is continuing. New Idea has commissioned a photo shoot to coincide with the launch of the girls. I'm starting to feel like a star a bit. Just getting all this attention, it's too much. It's good fun though. Love yeah, it. love it. Love getting my makeup and hair done. Timekeeping continues to be a challenge for Chantel. Hello. <laughs> this is how stars feel. I really feel for them. Yeah, <laughs> You can bring your hand up to me. I don't know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty full on, like having to stand there for a while, but I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm not really feeling like a star, feeling hot and sweaty. <laughs> Oh, no. I think we're just staying to be like a star because I don't think that'll kick in until that first person comes and asks for your autograph or you're in front of a, you know, thousands of people at a, at a CD launch. Okay, just sort of this is all more like fun, so sort of arm and arm, arms around each other, just laughing. <laughs> okay, guys. It's quite nice actually to think I'm the guy who did the first big shoot with him. Yeah, it's quite a nice thing to do up there in my folio somewhere, I think. Do we need to break up the jeans amongst the black pants? Well, I have to do one like this because it's what we make them after. Yeah, I right. Always wanted to be Adriana. I can do hand modelling. I want you all to get down to your bras and undies, if that's alright, because we want to make it look like you're nude. Right, well, every, all the men in the room, turn around. Thanks, you can go. Love your work. Yeah, this, is, this is where you go. How do you feel about being naked for your first photo shoot? No, I don't think my dad will approve of that. Okay, guys, you're going to start tossing some things up in the air. Are you ready? Do you want to go? Yeah. 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 One, two, three, and throw. Go again, hang on. <laughs> hang on. One, two, three, and throw. Yeah. One, two, three, and throw. You've got nothing left. Hang on. Girls totally stand out as individuals. Each one of them has their own specific talents. It all comes together in a wonderful group. Well, it's great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Michael Napthali, Jackie O and Chris Moss from Warners have insisted that only the best will do. So the plan today, Tommy, is to go in the studio. Did you get the emails I sent you? In the yes, they did. Tommy Farragher has been flown in from New York to work with the girls. Knows what it's all about. Tommy is one of the world's most successful record producers. Oh, you were doing vocals today? I'd love to hear some of the yeah. stuff. We've got a couple of demos here. Let's head in. Yeah, let's listen. Studio One. Can you come back again? So we'll do it with a three-part, three-part harmony. Until pop stars, none of the girls has ever been in a recording studio. They now have to prove they have the talent to become stars to a man who has produced with the best of the stars. Why don't you just do the you come back again, don't do the title, okay? You come back again. You come back again. That sounds good. You come back again. Again. You come back again. It sounds good. Okay, next victim. Tag team. <laughs> See, we need a higher part. Okay. Till you come back again. Let's, let's double that one, okay? Till you come back again. One more time. Again, the bitch on Just the last note, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Right? They seem to be catching on to everything so quickly. Yeah, it takes a little work, but, you know, they're getting the tricks and falling into the groove. I mean, it's great. Till you come back again. Okay, now just at the end. Bit neater. Yeah. I'll cut off. You got it, yeah. All right. Having the experience of um, Tommy here is making such a huge difference in the production. Everyone's done it. They've got uh, a really strong sense of soul. Mm -hmm. So and then so that you can't fake that. Yeah, you know, that can't be fake. That has to be real. End of week nine, and it's another successful day in the studio. The girls are happy. Tommy's happy. Michael's happy. Everybody is happy. Or are they? Michael has received an urgent call to go to the house. There's been a bit of drama and tension the last couple of weeks. I just had a bit of a chat with Chantal. And um, she's just told me that she will feel better if she leaves the group. This is for personal and family reasons that she, she felt a bit, I guess, distant and wants to leave the group. Is that a fair yeah, summation of right. how you feel? Yeah. I'll say sorry. That's right. I hope I haven't ruined it for you, but I'm sure I haven't. I mean, you guys are all so amazing. You make it with or without me. Yeah. Thanks for it all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kim. Mm -hmm. Look after yourself. Mm -hmm. You too. Me too. I'll still be buying your albums. <laughs> <So sorry. laughs> I'll still be watching myself on daily. <laughs> Sad because um, she's the only one that my age, sort of thing, so we can relate to each other. And you know, we swap clothes, and she's, she's such a lovely girl, she's really kind. And so, um, hmm, really sad. Can I miss it? Um, no, not really. No, she, I can't do this. 
not saying it. Um, I don't know. I don't do it. I don't want to do it. I think we we kind of had an inkling um, all along, and I think I think it's a positive thing because we all want to be in it together and one hundred percent. So um, we're all sad to see her go, but I think in the long run it'll be for the best for all of us, for her on her own, and for all of us together. So. Do I?